morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, James, name and address for the record, yeah, please. James Cooper, uh, 2804 North Robinson. Forgive me, I'm fighting an ear infection, so if I sound like I'm in an echo chamber, I'm so sorry. Um, I had some prepared statements here, but I have to say, I've been sitting around watching and really listening intently to all the discussion here today. And I actually really would like to look at everyone in this room right now, all of you, because what I've seen today is us divide ourselves up into tribes. We nod in approval to the person we agree with. We nod in disapproval to the person we disagree with. And we do this before we've ever even had a moment to hear what that other person is wanting to say to us. Do we not listen to each other anymore? Are we not all Oklahomans here? Are we not all here to have our voices heard, to have conversation, to have dialogue? We are not tribes. We're not Christian versus gay. We are human beings. This must stop. Ed Shadid, who I'm in his ward, and I'm so sorry to go from the script. I, I just, from listening to people today, this is, this is what I feel. I wrote that story in the Gazette. I spent this summer researching the history of harassment and discrimination towards this city's gay and lesbian population. To my Christian friends, if you've not read this article yet, please do, because it was stuff I didn't know existed in this city, in this state. When I was third, in the third grade, some kids came to my house, friends of mine, with some people I didn't know, asked me to come outside and play. Right around the corner, they had amassed a group of larger kids to beat me up. And I promise you there was no other reason, because it was stated over and over and over again. Faggot, gay. It wasn't nerd. It wasn't atheist. It was gay. That's why they attacked me that day. When I did that research and I learned that in 1969, one man was arrested in this city for going to a beer bar, kissing his three friends on the neck. And when he walked out of that bar, the cops were there. And they arrested him and put him in jail. And the only way they could arrest him was because in every state across this great nation of ours, in every state, what was called sodomy was illegal. And thus you could be prosecuted for it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not right. And he went to jail for it. Ten years later, this club over on Northwest 39th and Penn, and this is documented in the Gazette, people were beaten with batons by police because they were gay. Beaten, and this is documented. This is in the Oklahoman. This is in police reports. My friends, Shame we've come a long I'll way. Sum it up, please. Oh, absolutely. We've come a long way. But today we come here to turn the page on injustice. We are not the victims of history, but its makers, and we must stand up for what is right, and we must start listening to each other and have a dialogue, and I hope I'm here to help foster that. Thank you all so much for letting me do this. Thanks for your comments.